Good morning, Gary Giacomo from Hanson Bridget. I represent George Lucas and Skywalker Properties. Um, I'm sort of confused by what you're doing here. Uh, I'm here about the scenic highway, which we vigorously protest, vigorously protest, and we will at every level. It's a very CS way of trying to bushwhack a project that's been, been in negotiations for some months with the county, and we have filed an application for a project. Uh, I got the imp first when you started, Supervisor, I thought you were abandoning this terrible effort, but you're not. If I heard you right, you, you, you reserve the right to bring it back in a year or so. Is that right? Certainly at some point in the future, but okay. we're not pursuing it right now. Well, what I want to speak to is now and the future and forever. We will never allow this to happen. Imagine uh, how that will look to Caltrans, a 1.6-mile scenic road. Go get Panoramic or Highway 1 or something that's truly, truly a long scenic road. This is preposterous, and it's a blatant attempt to sabotage this well-thought-out project. Imagine this 1.6-mile scenic highway right in the front of, hmm, guess what? George Lucas's project, the only place it's going to be. It's absolutely outrageous. For many, many years, George Lucas has gone up and down that Lucas Valley and preserved by dedication to open space on Grady, 800 acres, on the rest of the ranches, Bulltail, Big Rock, Skywalker, thousands of acres dedicated to open space and ag preservation. Talk about scenic highway, he's made it that. He's made it that. And so what I want to express in no uncertain terms, this would be the last straw for George Lucas. It would be the ultimate of a bushwhacking effort at this late date, and we will not tolerate it. We will go, we will, we will be, if you go forward with it, uh, there's part of me that wants you to, because I'd love the lawsuit, frankly, a 1.6 scenic mile road uh, right in front of Lucas's property.